What's good, every family, every entrepreneurs, every successful people, every motivators, Christians, millennials, adults, every young adults. It's the Duma Chef family, and today we're, we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. What do we got today, see? Today we will be doing a requested reaction video. We will be reacting to Pentatonix Lala Latch. Nice. If you are new to our channel and we are new to you, make sure that you join our family by pressing the red subscribe button and the post notification bell that is on the side of it, and make sure you enable all post notifications. Definitely. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay. I love when they let Kirsty lead. Nah. Yeah, that's Kirsty right there. La La Lash. This is a familiar song for, for you too, right? Uh, I think you know the song. You know the song. Okay. Love the mood. This has to be like a basement area. I just want to mention that real quick. Yeah. Because all they have is a light just hanging around. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know this song right here. Yo, hey, you guys, listen. I don't care what nobody says. I think that... It must just be us, because all the songs that we listen to are be sounding so meaningful. Mm. It's like they have a message behind it. Sounds so Come clean on, when the beat come in too. Okay, so I feel like the songs that they do in the basement, like Imagine, what else it is? Sound of Silence, mm -hmm. and even the Hallelujah. There was Hallelujah when they was in the hallway. Hallelujah was in the hallway. In yeah. the hallway. Yes, yes. At a church or something like that. Yes. I believe that like, when they're doing these songs with these simple space, in these simple spaces, mm -hmm. like we can be more in tune with their vocals, the beat, the message of the songs their moods True. It, Big facts. them just standing still like they could sell, Big facts. i'm pretty sure they're selling out arenas and all yeah that. it gives you like but a different focus listening to does. them without all the extra stuff in the back they don't you know need I mean? all the extra stuff they really don't you know like some genres of music you have to be you know yeah you gotta have all that fame all the entertainment entertainment in the background yeah. to, to captivate the moment that they're trying to yeah. offer to you pentatonics don't need all that they, they are a legit it. group yeah they're legit yo mm-hmm Hey, 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 hey. I like how they transition. Man. So, I, I'm, so we just talked about this, you guys. I'm really paying attention to the background. And this background looks like it's a place that you can just pull up to. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, yeah. abandoned. And they making this whole quality of it look like it's still worth yeah. so much, so much, so much more. Yeah. And then it's dark. They don't even have the lights on. Right. It's a couple <laughs> fades in and out here and there. Like yeah. for Kirsten, when she was jamming in the middle. Like it, mm -hmm. she that little moment of all of them together in the group made that whole spot look like it was worth more than what it was. Yeah. Uh-oh, this is the build-up right here. Now, 
Nice. Can we just talk about that transition track quick? Very nice. Like, even from watching them on the sing off, mm -hmm. the way they arrange the lyrics, the transitions, hey, you're gonna do this air part and we're gonna transition to this song. Like, mm -hmm. that is so brilliant to me. Yeah. Did you guys realize how much of a hit this song was? And they're making this song sound so, so, they, so good right now. They made it sound like a new song. Man, <laughs> they, it's, yeah, basically. They jamming. I like that. <laughs> that was good. Yo, out of the whole video, one of the main parts that I really, really enjoy watching when it was all together and they really use up the space mm -hmm. to center with them out. I really love that part. You could have seen yeah. everybody's energy right there, you know? Yeah. I love how in the beginning, y'all know I was a little bit salty. I was like, why Kiersey don't get all of the parts? But of course, we're watching this song, mm -hmm. which is in their earlier stages and we're mm -hmm. watching this song which is in their latter stages and yes. it's like now i love how they let her be who she is yes. and yeah. they let her be in the middle she is the only female mm -hmm. okay yeah. and i am a female so of course i'm gonna be rooting for the women but mm -hmm. i love how in this song although they had different leads i like how she was in the middle. She was able to dance in the, in the guys' room right. side of her. You know, jamming. It just, it was a good jam session. Yeah. And even though that we watched so many clips of Pentatonix, watching the development in the different groups, we still got to see Kersey have a spotlight too. Yes, You know what I'm saying? Like, she had her moments where it seemed like she wasn't, uh, uh, she didn't get too much of a spotlight because certain notes didn't require her to use her voice at the moment. Yeah. Like, we have... Uh, Ivy using a lot of deep tone voices in certain tracks mm -hmm. that he got mainly more more the spotlight. But this one it was really enjoyable to watch her. You know she didn't have too much. Of, she didn't have the tight clothes on. She yeah. wasn't doing all the extra. Yeah. Like she was right there in the middle of a group of guys, and she was very centered, and you could really notice her. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I was rooting for her. She was like, hey, yeah. she was she was really jamming. It reminded me of those old soul groups back in the day like when yeah. women first came out as the only woman yeah, in a definitely. group of guys yep yep um i can't think um i wish i had like a list zola. of that because we had a few of them back in the day that was like that yeah i know her name her name was zola she was married to frankie lyman oh i yeah, can't yeah. think of the group that she was in but you know that is what pentatonics reminds me of pentatonic they're ahead of their time and they're also right where they need to be yeah but it's like they're from the past a blast from the past but they're ahead of their and time, they get a know? lot of compliments like that too now yeah they do get a lot of compliments like that they yeah. just sit so profoundly in the in, in the generation and the range that they are now that they can hit it dead on the nail yeah. and futuristic wise they can still hit it like this i feel like their videos are gonna last very, 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 very long. Many years. You can see that they are a group of dedicated individuals. Definitely, yeah. Um, they're all passionate about their work and their craft. Mm -hmm. And I just love that. Another thing I want to comment on. This brings me back to the Imagine video. We had our deep discussion on. Which was about very good. If you guys haven't watched that video, please, please go back and check that one out. That was such a great discussion for us. We enjoyed that one. Yeah. And it's like... They are all from different walks of life. Definitely. Being Jewish, being Christian, being LGBTQ. Right, right. Plus, I think. Right, let me tell you guys this, that what really glued the whole group together is love. Love. Yeah. And acceptance. Yeah, because they had a moment when I was watching the, um, when I was on stage and they was doing the tryouts. Oh, not the tryouts. Sing-off. Sing-off. Sing-off, yeah. Kevin had a moment in a song where he didn't want to 
do it because he didn't feel comfortable with the lyrics. With the lyrics. Yeah. And no matter how different each individual was, they all came to understand and say, we accept that. Mm -hmm. We're going to change that for you. He just met him. So, yeah, yeah. So this group was destined from the very start. Y'all know we love Pentatonix. Yeah. We could talk about them like all day, y'all. Yeah. 